Hi everyone. In today's video, we are going to see part 3 of organs of speech. In phonetics, we need to concentrate on the articulation of speech sounds, transmission of speech sounds, reception of speech sounds and then classification of speech sounds. Under articulation or production of speech sounds, speech mechanism involves a vital role. Three systems are used to articulate a single sound. They are the respiratory system, phonetary system and articulatory system. Now today we are going to see the phonetary system. The phonetary system consists of the larynx and the vocal cords. The larynx is situated in the upper part of the trachea. Inside the larynx there are two small structures which look like lips. These are called the vocal cords. These are attached at one end and left loose at the other end. Because of this, they can be brought close to each other or moved far away from each other. When they are moved far away from each other, there is a space between them. This space is called glottis. You could see easily here the larynx and the vocal cords are located in the throat. And the vocal cords are two lip-like structures. And the space between the vocal cords which can be brought together or wide open is called glottis. The space which is created when the vocal cords are wide apart or is called glottis. Through this glottis, the air escapes from the lungs to the windpipe. Then the air passes to the oral cavity to produce the speech sound. Depending upon the pitch of the vocal cords, the glottis are kept vibrated. The air that we breathe in and breathe out passes through the glottis. When we breathe normally, the vocal cords are moved away from each other and therefore the glottis is wide open. The air that we breathe in or breathe out goes freely through the wide open glottis without affecting the vocal cords. When we produce certain sounds, the vocal cords are drawn far away from each other and the air passes through the wide open glottis without affecting the vocal cords. When we articulate certain speech sounds, the vocal cords are kept close to each other. That is, they are kept loosely. When the air from the lungs passes through them, the pressure of the air ma makes them open and close rapidly. This Rapid opening and closing of the vocal cords is called vibration of the vocal cords. This vibration determines the pitch of the voice. When the vibration uh, is low, that is when the vocal cords vibrate slowly, the pitch is low. When they vibrate fast, the person's pitch is high. When we speak normally, we constantly change the pitch of our voice. The way in which we change our pitch when we speak determines the intonation of a language. So, we have two sounds called voiceless and voiced sounds depending upon the vibration of the vocal cords. The Voiceless sounds are the sounds which are produced when the air passes freely through the vocal cords and when the glottis is wide open and when there is no vibration of vocal cords. In 
the sounds which are produced when the air passes through some pressure and when the glottis is closely kept and when there is the vibration of vocal cords that is when the vocal cords open and close rapidly voiced sounds are produced and all the vowels in english language are voiced and out of the 24 consonants 15 consonants are voiced consonants here is the list of nine consonants which are voiceless you have to pronounce it as ka cha fa ha when you are pronouncing these consonants you can try by touching your vocal cord the vocal cord is nothing but your throat if you touch your throat you could find no vibration when you are uttering all these consonants but when you are reading all these vowels and 15 consonants you could feel a kind of vibration a kind of pressure a kind of block ba da g a a e you could find a kind of vibration when you are uttering these sounds here is the division between voiced and voiceless sound consonants b p d t g k j ch v f z s z sh d t thank you for watching the video meet you all in the next video